Hey, hey, it's Rosemary here. How are you doing? So today I triggered someone. I sent out an email about being a hypocrite when it comes to money and it made this person kind of annoyed. But this person decided to write me back instead of kind of slink off into the darkness like most people would do. And this was their response. They said, unless you are providing me a means of startup capital, a loan, or some means of helping me financially get my business started, please don't ever send me any emails titled hypocrite. If all you have to offer is lip service and not any real help, then you don't have the right to speak on what anyone is doing. Start giving us women some real help and news that is actually applicable to everyone's situation. Thank you. <laughs> and first, you know what? It triggered me, okay? And I was about to go send a scathing response back. But then, instead, I simply unsubscribed to this person from my world because, frankly, I just don't need that kind of energy around me. And I also looked through my other emails, you know, just kind of did a search for this person to see if I'd ever heard from this person before because sometimes you hear people talking that stupid negative nonsense when they've never said anything positive, even though been in your world for ages and it's just like I'm, I'm supposed to listen to your negative stuff no you haven't earned the right to tell me that but anyway I had heard from this person it was a very long email that I received in March detailing all the problems of life and everything that they've gone through and they were you know what they were horrible hard problems yeah okay and this person wanted to start a business but had no capital yet and so I told this person exactly, exactly what they needed to do to get their capital together, okay, without having to wait for a bank to give them the money. Or And this person, you know what, they'd read the email, they thanked me because they hadn't heard about this system before, and I told them exactly what to do, and they thanked me for it, and promised that they would absolutely do something. But obviously, from the sound of the response that you just, uh, just heard me read out to you, nothing, nothing, they hadn't done anything with what I told them. In fact, victimhood had prevailed. Okay, and victimhood is one of those human conditions if you're not careful, man. Anyway, this is the thing. I know this person is absolutely victorious. They've gone through enough for me to know that the fact that they're still standing, they have it within them to do whatever they set their mind to. And you have it too. And I know you, leader. You have everything you need to win, okay? And you kind of know it. You know it, okay? In your comfortable zone, you know you're a winner. In your good moments, you know you're a winner until you start looking at your current responsibilities and then you wonder if you have what it takes to go that extra expansive dream bit that you want. And then you find reasons like, oh, I don't have enough spare cash. I don't have time. My kids need me. My parents need me. I don't know how to do it. I have to be practical. It must be a scam. I'm waiting on God. The banks won't loan me any money. My credit is rubbish. Oh, I'm so stressed and overwhelmed. Oh, please. All the same tired excuses keep coming up in different ways and all because you forgot. You forgot that you are victorious. You have everything you need to win at creating a life you absolutely adore. You are not trapped. You are not stuck. You can go bigger if you so choose. You can conquer the world if you so choose. All you need is courage to go after every single thing you want until you get it. When you are brave, you get resourceful and creative. You see solutions where you used to only see problems. You start to see that you never, ever have to settle for a life that doesn't make you feel amazing. Even if life Life as it is right now is comfortable it can even be better <laughs> it can be awesome as you do the work that you absolutely love to do so go on leader own your victoriousness <laughs> and go after every single thing you want start on the side of what you're doing right now just do it on the side do it on the side you know and then let it grow and grow as your people respond and respond then you become the winner that you're born to be nothing is out of your reach Get your head in the right place and know that you are victorious. Come on, leader. Your vision is your permission. Go after it with gusto. Fight for, deliberately design the life you are born to live because you want it. Hey, just before I go, <laughs> would you like to experience the joys of getting to 10K per month, doing your own work, doing work you love before Christmas? in just 120 days. Well, I have two spots left for one-on-one -on -one clients who want to work with me on this, okay? We'll make this happen in your business before Christmas. Private message me on Facebook, which is my page, Rosemary Nonny Knight. Message me on that, and I'll get back to you. Until the next time.